Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Why the Fijiano Drewers Rise has even their grand final foes excited by Ian Payton April 22, 2022, 1.49 p.m. Save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size after a dominant, unbeaten run of 19 games over 5 Super W seasons. You might imagine the Arata's dressing room was a somber place after the Fijiano Drua handed them their first L three weeks ago. But after a quick flash of dejection, the Arata's overriding feeling about the 29-10 defeat at Kbus Super Stadium was how much they'd enjoyed it. Yep. NSW enjoyed their first loss. Ima Adavitalaga tackled by NSW's Katrina Barker, but not without an offload. Credit, Getty the girls were like that was the most fun we have ever had, Arata's skipper Grace Hamilton said. Even though we lost that game, for me, it was the most exciting and fun game of footy in ages. We have only played Australian teams for a few years so different challenges are exciting for us. We are a team that always wants to get better and while that was our first loss in a while, we know where we have to be now. And we plan to be there this weekend in the grand final. The Fijiano Drua and the Aratas will do battle again in the Super W Decider on Saturday, as part of the Super Round at Army Park in Melbourne. Whichever team wins, there will be a brilliant story to be told, and watched too, with the 2pm Super W Decider on free-to-air TV for the first time. The Aratas have the chance to avenge their first loss and maintain a perfect record of five Super W titles from five attempts. Fijiana Drew are in their first season, after a late inclusion in Super W and, despite the challenges of COVID-19 and being based in Australia for the past few months, have been a revelation. They're unbeaten after five games and the hope is their exploits will see an explosion in women's rugby in Fiji. For a lot of the girls, it is the first time they have been able to be away from home in an environment like this and be well supported and be in a high performance environment, Fiji Rugby General Manager of High Performance Simon Riolui said. It is all very new. They're very grateful for the opportunity and every win is important, but just being able to play at Suncorp, being able to play at Kbus, being able to play down at Army this weekend is just a huge experience for the girls. They're just really happy to be playing against these established Super W teams. It has been a whirlwind experience. Vika Mataragu and Akosada Avato celebrate victory over the Arata's credit. Getty women's rugby in Fiji has grown in recent years, particularly after the women's sevens team won bronze at the Tokyo Olympics, knocking out defending champions Australia in the quarters. The Fijiana Drua is predominantly made up of the Fiji national team and their inclusion in Super W was facilitated by funding from the Australian government specific a US sports program. But coming into the 2022 Super W season, most of the Fijiana players hadn't played a match in over a year due to COVID-19 restrictions in Fiji. They were limited to monthly training camps. We have a handful of players who have played international rugby but a lot of them didn't play rugby until a couple of years ago, Riwalui said. It has been a program that has been built up. They had no local competition last year, so they were without matches for 12 months. It didn't seem to matter. Fijiana Drua began strongly and have only got better, and the team's exploits have captured the imagination of their rugby mad homeland. It's been a quick burn, they're definitely making waves, Riwalui said. For Hamilton, the arrival of a strong, non-Australian competitor has several upsides. Not least the proof that when a women's rugby team is given a chance to train full-time over a few months, the improvements are clear, obvious and rapid. I have really embraced the competition they've brought. It has just got better and better and because they're invested in a full-time program at the moment, they're over here training like professional athletes and you can see how much better they're getting. And it shows on a broader scale how much that sort of investment can influence the women's game, she said. Fijiana's Karolaini Nezua is tackled by the Arata's Ilis Fabitibajaga and Grace Hamilton credit, Getty they clearly play a different style of footy and for us, 
We had never played anyone like that. Because we haven't had, Wallaroos, games for two years, all our girls have only ever played Australian-based competition. It is just another step up and for us, it is exciting. The lessons of the Aratas' first loss were pretty easy to identify, said Hamilton. They conceded three tries in the first 15 minutes, and trailed 17-0, before settling and holding Fiji to 